Welcome to Art 211 Beginning Painting. My name is Heather Kelly and I want to give you an overview of what we'll be covering this semester. I teach the class with the assumption that none of you have ever touched oil paint before, so I'll start with the basics. The goal in the class is for you to learn how to make a lasting archival painting, but equally importantly, and maybe more importantly, is to find your own manner of expression using the medium of oil paint. I don't teach uh, a certain style in the class. I want your paintings to be as individual as your handwriting is. There'll be six paintings assigned during the semester. We'll begin uh, with a, a black and white painting, then color still life studies, followed by a photo based painting, then a collage study, a master study, and lastly, an open final painting. So here's some examples the black and white still life study. This painting is really an introduction to using oil paint. Uh, those of you who've taken Art 217 will find it very familiar because it's, uh, it's like oil paint is like working with charcoal to some degree. You'll notice on these paintings that we'll look at here that uh, uh, many of them are oil on gessoed paper. Uh, we won't be using paper this semester because the bookstore is closed. It's hard to get uh, that material. Uh, but we'll be using canvases instead. Well, these paintings are good examples of different ways to compose a still life and also different paint applications as well. Also, to, also the scaling of the work and how value works and are, are distinctive and interesting in these. Next comes the color still life painting. And uh, so the element of color is introduced, and uh, there's still value studies, but uh, the difference is that color is, uh, is added to these. Something that we'll talk about this semester is how to light objects for uh, the still life painting, and as you'll be developing your own subject matter for this. So be on the lookout uh, over the next day or so for, uh, of objects that you might find interesting to use as subject for your paintings. You notice that these are very different kinds of objects, but also different kinds of applications of paint. Some really thin, some thick, some um, using a lot of uh, negative space around the object, some more close up. The next painting will be a photo-based texture study. Uh, it's a little bit smaller size. This, uh, this one is 15 by 11, but we'll use a 16 by 20 inch canvas for this painting. And uh, so it's a, it's a small detail that's blown up very large. So this is a detail of, of a, a lock that's actually in the painting room. And this is recognizable from a fire hydrant peeling paint. This one is actually a rusted portion of a car, a bad paint job on the side of a car. It looks like ocean to me, but it, I think it's evocative and interesting uh, as a painting. Next comes a collage-based painting. And this painting is really a tutorial of different kinds of texture and color. So in this, the subject matter that uh, this artist was interested in was food. And so she has all manner of different kinds of bread and meat and cheese and uh, looks like mushrooms at the bottom there, pizza and stuff. Uh, this one has some illustration elements along with uh, some uh, a human figure, photo photographic figure. another. The next to the last painting of the semester is a master study. And rather than being a complete master study of uh, the ent entirety of an image, it's a small detail so that you're able to study the paint application and the color that the, the uh, master study artist uh, the, or master study work uses. And uh, so it's, it's not so much um, about rendering. It's not a drawing proposition as much as it is about color and matching color and getting the paint stroke appearance correct. You can see in this one 
the uh, master study was very painterly, and so is this painting. And Van Gogh is someone familiar, but this detail of a Van Gogh painting, I think, is instructive. You can see the individual brush strokes and the thickness of the paint. The last painting of the semester is open. Uh, it's pretty much whatever you'd like to do. You could uh, do a, a personal still life, like a self-portrait in objects. If you're interested in landscape, you're welcome to do that. Or if you'd like to do a part two of your collage painting, or if you like the texture study, you could do a part two of those uh, subject matters. So here are some from previous semesters. This was a, a little personal still life. These are little ceramic figures that this artist had made in ceramics class, and she's painting them. Uh, she painted them. This person was interested in abstraction, so that's certainly a possibility. And this is a photo-based painting, sort of a texture study and landscape uh, at the same time, really. So that's the material that we'll cover. Uh, the next things that I'd like you to do is to read over carefully the syllabus. Uh, if you haven't already turned in your interview form, please do that. Uh, read the safety material. And the reason it's especially important for you to be very familiar with uh, the safety material is that you're going to be working in your own space. Uh, so you'll be working in your room, uh, in your home, uh, or your dorm room. You need to uh, work out a spot uh, that is uh, ventilated for you and uh, that's safe. But there are guidelines uh, that are listed on, on Moodle. Also, there is a demonstration about how to begin the first painting and the guidelines for that painting. If you have any questions about this material, please feel free. Do not hesitate to contact me. My email address is there and my office phone, which is routed uh, uh, to my home phone. I, can, I will pick up on that number. Uh, you can feel free to contact me. This material is also on the syllabus. Now, if you'd like to see some actual student work, go to Fraser Library. There's a show of some Art 211 paintings on the first floor. If you go all the way to the back south wall, you can see the painting, that previous painting of the figure. And here's the, the rest of the show. Well, best wishes on this semester. I look forward to working with all of you.